Spain, but that's cool. Um, Elizabeth, do you want to hit the record button? All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the May 12th, I think, for everybody on the call. May 12th version of the DEI, Chaos DEI Working Group meeting. Um, kind of a light agenda today. This seems to happen sometimes, I think, in, in May. <laughs> I don't know. A, we all have emerged, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, we've emerged through winter. <laughs> and we're all... Uh, you know, kind of finding other things that are outside, yeah. which is cool. Um, so I think a few things today, we have a couple of metrics that it looks like we're gonna be returning to. Um, one is documentation discoverability. And this was in the minutes before I took a look at the minutes. So I Elizabeth, put them in there. is this you? It was, I did some <laughs> right work on it. <laughs> Right on. I will share my screen and maybe you can talk us through a little bit about what you did. Okay. All right, cool. Um, basically, I took the shell that we had. We had some work done in this already. Um, I was not the original author, however, so I tried to keep as much of the original as possible and have it still make sense. So if any of you are on the call that were Part of that original discussion and can provide additional context that would be super helpful i uh, hope i didn't delete anything <laughs> that uh was important to you if i did then feel free to um you know return the version or reverse go back whatever whatever that word is that i want revert, um, revert thank you yes thank <laughs> you i need more coffee um yes so um yeah, I don't know if we want to take a few minutes and look through it or work on it or whatever you all want to do with it. It's completely fine with me. Yeah, so um, at least I, I think this was part of the um, split of the documentation metric from ages ago. And then it became a couple other metrics just in terms of what the concerns around documentation can be. And so this is one of them. And um, maybe I, I have a question for you, Elizabeth. Just was there anything in here that seemed complex or problematic that when you were doing uh, the revisions? Uh, a little only because we had used, so the other two metrics uh, for anyone who's not familiar was uh, they were documentation accessibility and documentation usability. Uh, which are all different things and then discoverability then is the third piece of that so some of i think that was in here were remnants from when we split them out so i just wanted to kind of get other people's opinions on whether or not things should stay or go in go somewhere else or even in an, another metric or you know whatever we want to do with it um, with particular um, attention to the geographic ac access and the mobile access I feel like those could have gone into documentation accessibility, but maybe there's something else as well. Okay. Um, that's helpful. And then um, as you, oh, go ahead. I was, uh, um, the other thing I was, I was wondering about um, was uh, back when you, up at the top, it says um, editability. Um, I, I didn't know if we wanted to make accuracy a piece of this. It doesn't seem like it really fits here, but it kind of does. I don't. I don't know. Whatever you all think, but I feel like accuracy is a is a piece of this that um, has not been represented uh, before, unless we want to put it in usability. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you all think, but I think that it is an important piece because inaccurate documentation is extremely frustrating and um, should be. Um, you know, paid attention to uh, that the documentation is is kept up to date. Okay. I mean, when I see this metric, like as that, you know, and then reading the description, my like first thought and almost kind of less thought is just really about that, how easily the documentation can be found throughout the project. 
And so in the list that is here with respect to the objectives, to me, that would be visibility. It would be, be easily, I mean, that's a, about it. Yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, Edit, editability, I think maybe uh, its own metric. Mm -hmm. And even searchability, I can see how that would be important, I guess, that like if you have, say, the community handbook, you know, it's like, sure, I found the handbook. Um, <laughs> but can you find being... what you're looking for? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I could maybe see searchability in there as well. Um, portability. And that and was that very confusing to me um, because do, are we moving the, like, we're not really moving the documentation. So mm -hmm. I, I wasn't sure what that meant or who the original author was to put that in there. I thought maybe that if they were here, they could provide some additional context. I'm afraid it's been too long <laughs> to provide context anymore. <laughs> well, then we're going to take it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it does not fit here. We're going to make some new context. All right. Um, yeah, we'll make it into what we think it is. And then um, geographic access. I'm trying to think through that a little bit too. Um, be accessed by users who may be subject to very inter various internet restrictions. That makes a sense to me. I don't know what you were thinking, Elizabeth, when you were going through that one. So for me, that goes under accessibility only because the question that we ask in that is how does the documentation accommodate different users? Okay. So for me, that kind of spoke to that, like if they can't get to it or if they, you know, if it's, if it's blocked, we're, we can't accommodate them. Gotcha. Um, but, you know, our original um, concept around accessibility was more of like for the visually impaired or, you know, the, the hearing impaired, things like that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we want to expand that kind of original definition of accessibility. What you were just talking about would fit for me. So if there, are, this is a, a limitation based on um, perhaps internet access, perhaps internet availability. Um, so you found the documentation. <laughs> so the discovery has occurred, full stop. And then the access to it is limited in some way. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like that too. Okay. Um, but that would mean we would have to revise that other doc, that other metric. So right. if we don't so care about that. Probably both. Oops. No. Is the other metric released? Yes. It okay. is. I All right. put That's... it in the chat. Okay. But maybe these two. Is that what is that actually what you were highlighting? Yeah, it is. All yeah. right. So <laughs> okay, I agree. Right. And so portability, did you comment on that one? I'm not sure what the <laughs> you did. I agree. And then these two would probably stay in editability. I'm not, I'm not even sure where that would go. Do you have thoughts in terms of? I mean, I, I don't know if it needs another metric, but maybe. Okay. Did you say it, that? It, you know, and it might even fit in something with, um, you know, like code quality or something like that. Maybe not necessarily here in DEI, but um, I don't know. Actually, so what about like kind of a subjective metric, but like documentation quality? Yeah. Just listening to you talk. And then like things like brevity could be in there. 
Um, well, we do have um, documentation usability, which includes mm -hmm. like readability and things like that. So, I mean, maybe it fits under that as just another thing to check because if it's inaccurate, then it's not really usable, but I don't know. Yeah, actually, I like, and that's also a release metric, right? Yeah. Okay. I can drop that in the chat as well. Oops. Our metrics page takes longer and longer to load <laughs> the more we add. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's let's propose that. So these two would move to accessibility. This one would move into to outer space. <laughs> outer space. <laughs> and this one would move into documentation usability. At least that's the proposal. Yeah. Okay. So can you, or should we just put this in the minutes? I mean, if, if nobody has a problem with that, I can just do the PR to add those things. That would be great. I'll put it in the minutes cool. too, just to track it. Okay. Later. say documentation usability And then this is just removed. So I'm going to do that then. Good. Yep. All right, cool. So we're just kind of doing this as a team right now. Um, so then does that fit with the description too? I think so. Better? Yeah, okay. yeah, I think so. Okay. But and it's then really underneath just about them. finding things. Okay. Yeah, finding the answer that you are looking for, finding it in general. Yep. All right, and then data collection strategies. So a lot of these were here already. Um, it feels like someone put a whole lot of work into them, so I didn't want to just, you know, delete them. And I, I feel like they're pretty good, um, except for there's a few actually. Readability and scannability can probably take out because that's probably taken from somewhere else. Um, I just wasn't sure if there were was any other way to. Uh, really capture this data aside from a survey, unless there's, you know, um, like Google stats or something on how many times people hit, you know, hit the pages and like what their search terms are and things like that. Like, I didn't know how deep we wanted to get with this. So, right. <laughs> yeah. I think for sure surveys would make a lot of sense that you just simply kind of like just what we're putting together people. for the... yeah for the audit stuff like, <laughs> what do you think of the documentation? Are you able to find it? Right. Um, I've never gone down the, the more analytic path that you were talking about with search terms. 
just trying to sh shed light on things that way. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know if that was something we wanted to include or not. I, it was just kind of a fleeting thought to my mind. Um, <clears throat> but has anybody on the call ever done that? Like try to gain a better understanding of their website through looking at search patterns. Um, we've, I've certainly looked at what search terms take people to my site from my Google analytics. But not on the site itself. Um, no. Okay. Maybe we could add it as a, just an idea. Um, and if somebody wants to go, kind of go down that rabbit hole, they can. Okay. Like, I don't know how far we want to hold their hand down that road, down that road. <laughs> Cause I feel like that's a whole science in and of itself. <laughs> and I don't know, Which... I don't know, if, how, you know. Right. And we're like trying to, I don't know. Right. I feel, I, I totally agree that probably search analytics and like click through analytics is a hundred percent a science by itself. And right. I, yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. And for us, maybe we keep it out because maybe for us just to say, just just do click through analytics. <laughs> we'll be like, yeah. Just first uh, Google that. that. Yeah. And then whatever that does. Just do yeah. That. <laughs> You're welcome. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's maybe not include that, at least for okay. now. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so then one thing at a time. So then on the survey project members matrix item, was there, could you maybe talk a little bit about what you have highlighted here or? Yeah, um, again, this was, you know, not my original stuff. I tweaked it a little. Um, I, I don't know how you all feel about the complexity of the way this is presented. It, it seemed pretty complicated to me as I was just reading through it. So there may be an easier way to present this information in the form of a survey I see. But I wasn't sure what that was. So I didn't change the overall construct of what they were proposing in this gotcha. matrix type. So it would just be like mailing list communication is easy, difficult, or quite, or whatever. Yeah. Easy to right. find, difficult to find, quite difficult to find, and then so on and so forth down the line. I, I also felt like they were kind of mixing, like, I wasn't sure when they said mailing list communication, if if they meant like the mailing list itself was easy to find and or an answer within the mailing list was so easy to like find. Me. So it was a little bit confusing to me what that, was, maybe? okay, yes. Cause it was very general, like just describe your experience. So like, I don't know, um, like performing code reviews are easy to find. Like I, I wasn't quite sure what that meant. So maybe your experience in finding two? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Does that help? I, it helps me. Yeah. Okay. And I wasn't sure what PMC meant. Um, where is that? Add new committers. Uh, right above where you are. Right, add new committers slash PMC members. Oh. Project management committee. It's a uh, Apache term for okay. Basically, the, basically maintainers, steering committee kind of thing. Yeah, it's kind of below a steering committee, so it's more it's more like a committee of maintainers. Okay. Okay. So we may want to tweak this list a little bit. channel okay, I mean, or like is it mailing list archived communication mailing list oops, mailing list joining <laughs> and unsubscribe you know that kind of stuff uh, yeah or mailing list um, membership management. I also kind of felt like there was just so many things someone would want to know about. 
that maybe that there's just not enough room to ask every single thing, you know, like so there's many. privacy, there's, you know, so many things that you could oh, ask about or example. <laughs> yeah, there uh, you go. There you go. But uh, one thing I felt missing in this, in this list is like the website. People always, first thing they always go is the website. Yes, so, agreed. So what's missing here, Benai? So I, in the example list, we have this like mailing list or communication archive. The first thing always anyone go for looking for a documentation or anything is the website of the project or a community or so the website like uh, itself is not in the list is what I'm trying to say. But with the website, I think this is more like on specific documentation, whether it's found via the website so, or found via GitHub. Yes. So like how easy is it? I'm gonna make a mistake. How easy is it for an individual? I'll just point out code of conduct. And they may go to the website to find it. And it's probably yep. pretty straightforward to find on the website. Um, if we didn't have it on the website and it was only available, say through the governance repo in the chaos project, that, the answer to that might be, it's a little bit more difficult to find because yep. you have a weird structure. So I think Matt, what you're saying is maybe we should add the sections of the website that a, a project would typically have. If they had a website, what would those sections be and add them as lists? I'm, I actually think this list is fine as it is. And if, okay. and if they, the question is, can they find these things? And we have chosen okay. to have a website. We have chosen to have GitHub repository. A verifying question. Just, is this, is just trying to understand, is this about the chaos? project specifically, or are we just talking gen generally with this metric? Ge generally. Okay, I actually think website, I think the point that Fanon's making is actually really key because I've seen so many open source projects that have documentation and have these things done, and then they don't have any way to find it on their main website. And a lot of times as a project, you really need to put that stuff out there. People aren't just going to come across it, right? And websites are a huge, oftentimes that's the front door for many, many projects or organizations. So. I really think that one makes a lot of sense from my perspective, because I see it not done all the time. And there's definitely a web development piece that you need to account for that I see over. So, okay. Maybe it's a different question, Matt, to your point. Maybe we ask a question about, um, do, you, do you realize the project has a website or, you know, or, or something where we could list like examples of where documentation might live or where users might search for documentation? Maybe a question is like, uh, do you find the documentation detail or link on the main website? So can Benad or Justin, um, would you want to put website in this list? Because to me, this list is like, it's not about if I put to me, if I put website in this, or if we put website in this list, the question is, how easy is it to find the website? So like, if I did this, which we could do, but I understand the point that like not having this on the website makes it difficult to find this documentation. And so if, if these things aren't on the website, you know, like um, accessible through the website or discoverable through the website, then the answer is always going to be quite, quite difficult to find. <laughs> Like they will always answer yeah, that. Maybe there's a different way to this, that website, because I'm seeing that those, all these items are like specific individual places and a website can be more of a catch-all. Maybe there's a different question here of where do you go to discover a project's processes? Is it a website? Gotcha. Is it documentation yeah. Yeah. site? Maybe that's a better approach. Gotcha. 
That makes yeah. good sense. Yes, I agree. So then I'm going to try to capture this two places. So one objectives could be to help improve the discoverability of documentation through your website, through repositories. So that would be an objective here. If everybody's like, I go to the website and I can't find anything, <laughs> you'd be like, oh, yeah. objective is identification actually just doing that inventory and realizing how are the ways people enter our, our project for documentation I, I think that's a huge thing okay something yeah. like this is that fair okay cool and then so then i'm not moving off yours right away but to just put a little bit of closure on this, like is this, whatever it is, 10 by five <laughs> matrix, would this be okay? All right. And then another question would be, um, how do you something like this? Yes. Is there some other place that maybe people you think might go? This is one that it can all depend on the software because like if you're in a Linux community, then it could be a downstream packaging user. But if you're a JavaScript person, maybe it's like the package registry. What are those called? Like NPM and PyPy for Python and yeah, it's packaging registries, package, package. I'm missing a word for that. <laughs> package manager, I think is what you're searching for. <laughs> yeah. Package. Manager is the tool. Sorry, go ahead, Don. Oh, I, yeah, I mean, are you talking about finding it within the package manager? Is that? Sometimes, yeah, like for one tool that might be true, but if I'm building like a, like, well, I don't know, like I'm just thinking out loud, I guess. it's It can be a very contextual question, I guess. It just depends on the project. I don't know if there's a lot of things we could abstract out, like universal for open source, but it's good. I would, it's good I would say website repository is another, but, but Justin, you're absolutely right. I mean, like Java has like Java docs, which like ship with the with the things where you find the the documents, and so it's it's kind of all over the place. But I don't know how to abstract that out because, like you said, it's entirely context dependent based on the, the language or the type of project. So documentation within the software is a place also like you open a Word or any other software and you find the documentation within that software is a place. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good way to phrase that. I actually still have a question about the previous previous section, the matrix. I actually don't think that this is a, a matrix item um, because I think it's there are a bunch of questions. I think these are just questions that would be on a Likert scale, right? Because the matrix columns are really just sort of Likert scale kind of things. So I. I I feel like maybe we're making the structure more complex than it needs to be. They could do it as a matrix. They could do it as individual questions. There are lots of different ways to do this. Gotcha. So we could, and I'm thinking too, now that you're saying this, like a lot of the things that we do in the DEI metrics are just based on that one to X scale. We're like, here's yeah. just use a scale to ask questions with respect to these particular items. So. If you hear weird noises, that's my dog making <laughs> weird noises. <laughs> Just so y'all know. <laughs> so maybe um, get rid of that and then say, uh, example like that.
Something like that, Don? Mm -hmm. You may want to keep, I kind of liked that easy to find, not easy to find, like you might want to explain what you mean or give some context around the one to whatever. Sure. That's my personal opinion. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. That is much cleaner. You yeah, thank you, Don. To imagine boxes in their head. I mean, you're right. <laughs> it's so much, yeah, so much simpler. Thank you. All right. All right. Um, Elizabeth, back to you for a second. We're kind of here. Do you remember? Yeah, I liked about? that as it was. I okay. um, I can be swayed if someone has a strong opinion about it, but I, I liked that, just general question. Okay. Okay. Thoughts from people? Don, you're unmuted, but you have a comment. No, I try to watch people's muting and unmuting. <laughs> no, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> no, I forgot to mute myself after I talked. Okay. Um, not, what is this open ended? follow-up question if the answer is not no challenges <laughs> yeah that was phrased weirdly in my opinion is, yeah but i tried to think of how to say it better and i i couldn't so i left it <laughs> did, did you try to say it more better i tried to say it more better <laughs> oh. Indeed. the question is the survey focused on the members or the users So I think it's focused on really potential new contributors. Yeah, because like uh, the survey project members, it is saying that's where I was, is it like uh, though the contributing members already are aware of where the documentation is or where the work is thing, but it's more of a, if I'm a newcomer and I want to see the documentation, am I able to locate it? That survey should be focused to that uh, audience, I guess. The the question actually addresses both of those things, those people, those things, uh, users yeah. and contributors. So I think it can encompass both, unless we okay. think it shouldn't. No, I think it encompasses both. This seems a little out of place. Yeah, I was just looking at that. I think we should take that out. Okay. Unless it's related to finding stuff. Yeah, this seemed more like about onboarding new contributors. Mm -hmm. I mean, be, we could say like, what suggestions do you have for improving the projects? documentation regarding. Yes. Okay. What is five? Nothing. I don't think it, I think it was <laughs> a, a leftover. Sorry, I should have cut that. Okay. Um, what was this, remember? Uh, the readability and scannability, which doesn't fit here. Oh, okay. So I took it Should out. I just remove it. Yeah. Sense. Or you can, yeah, accept my delete. Yeah. Okay. Should we um, possibly 
Yeah, actually, I can copy and paste over into. Yeah, perfect. There you go. What did we say? Documentation. Usability? Uh, yes, yes, scannability and readability, yes, is usability. Okay. All right. We're almost through. Yeah, and then the, that's not, that's accessibility, I think. This whole question? No, I think. Just the last part? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I don't even know, like, in light of the questions we've asked earlier, do we even need this? Like, wasn't that Probably the not. whole point of everything? <laughs> <thing> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. What was this one? Um, accessibility. Accessibility. Again. Okay. Mm Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Only three points left. And and these are these are probably overlapping with the other things because people can get stuck in a variety of ways. So I just left them in there because I think it is valuable. I agree. Like this one, this one's pretty actually a kind of a common over the shoulder research mm -hmm. technique where you start or you're doing just that. Um, Give them a task to complete and see if they can do it. Yeah. And I'm not sure a friction log. Um, I mean, I can yeah. Kind of I, abstract what it is, I guess. Yeah, like the places where they get stuck would be like where they experienced friction, keeping track of those in a in a log or documenting no, some way. I think those are fair. Consider different versions. Seems a little out of place. What yeah, I was I was I left it in there um because I think that it could help with searchability and finding um finding what you're looking for. But I wasn't, I, yeah, I don't know if it fits like a, a direct puzzle piece or if it's kind of a puzzle piece jammed in there. Um, I also think like it's it's challenging to make video searchable. And I know that there are companies that do that and you know you can provide transcripts and everything, but I don't know. I don't know if we want to put this in here or not. So what do y'all think? I'm a little inclined to remove it. Yeah, okay. just for simplicity. Yeah. Clarity. Is that okay, Elizabeth? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And then making documentation. Okay, that's cool. That was a, an article written by Ray Paik. So I was like, oh, that's Ray. You should certainly <laughs> use that. Yes, he makes um, the cameo appearance. Building Navigation, my practices in designing your navigation seems very applicable. Do you know, could, did, did you look at either of these two? Curse of I knowledge. Did. Yeah, I yeah, added that. Because that's like a okay. curse, curse of knowledge is a huge thing when you know so much about your own subject that you I see. forget what it's like to be a newcomer. Okay. Um, so that's a huge thing. And then knowledge base 101. I think a lot of um, the, the, um, documentation can be considered a, a quote unquote knowledge base where, you know, as people mm -hmm. are asking questions and looking for things, it's added on to the base of knowledge. So gotcha. yeah, those are good, 
I thought good references. Cool. Uh, All right. I'm not uh, one point. I'm not sure whether it fits here or somewhere else. Like, is documentation available in different languages? Because that also helps people uh, to look for the documentation in their own local language or some other language. You have a pointer for that, Banad, at all? Or? Uh, we do actually address that in the usability. There's a, a point in there called language inclusion. Oh. oh, no, no, that's language diversity. Documentation is, well, so it says lang, yeah, and different languages. There it is. Okay. So, yeah, we do, we do touch on that in documentation usability. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so, let's see. Oh, nobody was supposed to change anything. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to accept that. All right. Oh, we addressed that, right? Yeah, 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 we did. Okay, got it. Leadership, cool, thank you. All right. Look at that. Ta-da. <laughs> that is a working session. Yeah. <laughs> Complete accomplishment achieved. That's awesome. So maybe um for the next next week we can just finalize this, like clean it up in the um, spreadsheet and kind of start doing the whole ready for release kind of thing, if that works for folks. And then, yeah. Um, this here. And then, um, we can deal with event demographics next time. I did finish that up. It's pretty straightforward. Sorry, Matt, I didn't mean to hog the No, this, was, <laughs> this is something we have, we have plenty of time. The next release cycle isn't for a long time. It's like two but months, it's, it's forever. Forever away. So I think it's all good. Um, and again, this will just remove speaker demographics. We'll actually lose two metrics in the next release, but kind of combining them into just a single metric. And then community survey coming soon. Did somebody want to talk about that? Ever put that in there? And it's trademarked for some reason. <laughs> I don't know, if, is Justin still in the call? <clears throat> I don't think, no. I think Justin had to drop, but I think Justin probably put this in there just to give people, oh yeah, he did put it in chat um, that he had to go. Uh, but okay. yeah, so um, that's just a really kind of a, a heads up that we are gonna be doing a survey or the, the independent team is gonna be doing a survey whenever it's ready to go. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. Cool. That's pretty much it. All right, right on. Will that be sent in the mailing list or? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and also maybe some other um, areas, but that's part of the thing that is being sorted out right now. I think. Well, great. Uh, perfect. Thank you, everybody. This was really, really great. Yeah. Nice Good meeting. All right. Catch you and all later. Till next or, time. Thanks, same, everyone. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.